Jamshidi Needles, a trusted name in bone marrow sampling, takes biopsy technology to the next level with two disposable needle and aspiration options. For over 40 years, the Jamshidi name has been synonymous with proven reliability and superior results. From the original Jamshidi needle to the advanced T-handle Jamshidi needle with crown tip and marrow acquisition cradle, Jamshidi products deliver dependability and innovative features that make them a first choice in bone marrow biopsy needles and trays. Since its introduction, the original Jamshidi bone marrow biopsy and aspiration needle has been a bestseller decade after decade. It features a lightweight handle with a built-in comfort knob that allows clinicians to apply sufficient pressure without discomfort. The razor-sharp bevel tip permits easy coring of the bone, and the distal tapered tip facilitates recovery of the bone marrow sample without altering its architecture. Here's how it works. Introduce the Jamshidi bone marrow biopsy needle as you normally would, with firm pressure and an alternating clockwise counterclockwise motion. The razor-sharp bevel tip enables the needle to quickly and easily penetrate the cortical bone. Once the cortical layer has been breached, unscrew the cap and pull the stylet out of the handle. Slowly advance the needle with a slight clockwise counterclockwise motion until adequate marrow is obtained. This can be tested by gently placing the stylet back into the needle to estimate the size of the sample. Since simple architecture can be damaged from excessive movement, let's watch that again. Slowly advance the needle using a slight clockwise counterclockwise motion until adequate marrow is obtained. Once an appropriate sample size is realized, rotate the needle 360 degrees 10 times to the left and 10 times to the right using a quick motion and light downward pressure to allow the tapered tip to help sever the specimen. Slowly remove the needle and specimen with the same clockwise counterclockwise motion. After removing the needle, place the probe guide on the distal end of the needle. Then, using the shepherd's hook, push the specimen out through the proximal end of the needle onto a specimen slide. Now, let's take a look at the advanced technology of another option the T-handle Jamshidi bone marrow biopsy needle with crown tip and marrow acquisition cradle. This remarkable biopsy needle and retention system requires less force, promotes greater patient and user comfort, and helps to ensure optimal specimen retention and superior specimen quality. Together, this T-handle Jamshidi needle and marrow acquisition cradle is the only system specifically designed to obtain multiple samples during a single procedure without the need for painful redirection. It's all made possible by the advanced engineering of the Jamshidi crown tip cannula, trocar stylet and marrow acquisition cradle. Together these components optimize bone marrow biopsy procedures. The unique design of the trocar tapered stylet point and the triple crown cannula tip creates an extremely sharp, ultra-effective cutting edge. The result is superior cortical penetration and medullary advancements that require 25% less physical force to perform the biopsy procedure. In addition, unlike other marrow retention devices, the Jamshidi marrow acquisition cradle minimizes specimen compression helping to maintain specimen integrity. Here's how the needle and cradle work together. The pinpoint stylet contained in the needle anchors securely on the cortical layer so there's less chance of painful skating across the nerve-rich periosteum. The distinctive tip geometry of the needle allows it to effectively pass through the cortical bone. Introduce the T-handle Jamshidi bone marrow biopsy needle as you would normally with firm pressure and an alternating clockwise counterclockwise motion. Once the cortical layer has been breached, the trocar stylet is rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise and withdrawn. Slowly advance the needle with a slight clockwise counterclockwise motion until adequate marrow is obtained. The tapered distal tip of the crown cannula continues to advance through the medullary cavity. 
The six surgically sharp cutting facets of the cannula's crown tip produce a clean, controlled advancement with minimal trabecular disruption. Because sample architecture can be damaged with excessive clockwise counterclockwise movement, it's important to watch this again. Slowly advance the needle with a slight clockwise counterclockwise motion until adequate marrow is obtained. With the needle in proper position, the marrow acquisition cradle is then inserted into the crown cannula, but only far enough for it to rest on top of the specimen. The resulting exposed length of the marrow acquisition cradle that is protruding from the proximal end of the crown cannula corresponds to the approximate length of the sample. The gem sheety needle and cradle allow you to obtain sample lengths of up to four centimeters. Once the sample length has been identified, the marrow acquisition cradle is fully advanced into the crown cannula. The marrow acquisition cradle is rotated 360 degrees, effectively separating the bone marrow core. Notice that the marrow acquisition cradle rotates, not the needle. The only turning that takes place is on the inside of the cannula. There's no need to twist or oscillate the needle in order to separate the specimen from the cavity, so there's less chance of irritating the sensitive periosteum. There's also a reduced chance of altering the architecture of the sample. That's because the beveled distal tip of the marrow acquisition cradle doesn't extend to the tip of the crown cannula, where crushed artifact is most likely to occur. After a single rotation of the marrow acquisition cradle, a non-fragmented trephine is cut from the medullary cavity. The marrow acquisition cradle is then withdrawn from the cannula. The specimen's trephine rests in the trow of the marrow acquisition cradle, which securely holds the sample, reducing the chance of it getting dislodged accidentally. The sample is ejected from the cradle by advancing the support rod through the proximal end of the cradle. Ejecting the sample from the distal portion of the marrow acquisition cradle reduces the risk of dangerous needle sticks that are associated with normal specimen retrieval. If an additional specimen is desired, the procedure can be repeated using the same cortical passage and the same cannula. That's right, there is no need to introduce another bone marrow biopsy needle in order to obtain additional samples. Simply advance the biopsy needle farther into the medullary cavity, insert the marrow acquisition cradle, rotate, and withdraw. Available separately or as a complete system, the T-handle Jamshidi bone marrow biopsy needle and marrow acquisition cradle combine proven performance with innovative design to help you confidently perform procedures and obtain quality specimens virtually every time. Jamshidi Needles, advancing the science of bone marrow biopsy with two proven disposable needle and aspiration options from CareFusion.